Hello, this is Lolly with part 18 of my December Daily Binder. And what I want to do is revisit this cover now that I've had some time to think about it. And I would like to do something to sort of go along with the theme that I have going here. And that's the use of some of the stripe. Now, I don't have any more long strips except I have these, these three pieces. And I have one entire panel left, but I'm not sure I want to cut into this. So I'm thinking I might want to just do something with these. Mostly probably this. And let me get my rounder because I think if I round that off, it would look more like it matches what I've got going on here. And I'm not going to do any distressing on that. There we go. And I will stitch on it, kind of like this is as well. And I'm looking at some of the extra um, cards that I have left over to see if I want to use any of those. Any extra strips in here. I'm just kind of laying several things on here just to see what I have. <sighs> okay, and I still have also a couple of the stickers so I still have these and da, 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 da. I like the fact that there are children here and I might want to do that on here as well so I might use this little caroler here so thinking about whether to do something like this just keep it rather simple and then put the caroler in here somewhere so this time around, I'm trying to be a little faster than I have been and just do it. <laughs> you know, I've shown my decision-making process as I've gone along, and some of it was a little torturous for you watching all that, I'm sure. I'm going to take this and do some random stitching on it. And I will be right back because I want to stitch before I put any stickers on there. All right, done and done. So let's get off some of these. I don't mind leaving some of the tails, but not really long ones. So by looking at the back, you can see where all I stitched. <laughs> Okay, now, uh, when I did the cover the first time around, I had several comments about how I, oops, how I could cut with a craft blade around this metal post so that I could fill this entire part here with uh, paper, but I don't want to cut around there, so it was just a personal choice, so. I want that caroler right down there. And thinking about Santa's good list right here. There we go. I don't need this to be too filled out, but um, I'm just wondering. This little Noel will get lost because there we go. Right there, it fits. There, good enough. I don't want to just. Put a bunch of stuff on there just to get rid of my supplies there now for the spine i mentioned that i had an idea um and i think these ones have been eight and a half but in order to get to slide really well i think about an inch and a quarter is all i'm going to be able to do and i'm thinking about using this okay so i got that trimmed Sometimes I find I have to open these up in order to really let them slide in well. Release the pressure on the spine. Now, I mentioned that I had a thought about doing something with this. And what I'm thinking is punching a hole and putting um, an eyelet through it. So it's pretty... Um, 
Actually, it really doesn't matter which one I use. Uh, I can use the handheld one. That will work just as well. Um, it's They're both strong. Um, a little dot there so I know where to go. Hmm. Okay, so I need the big one here. Okay, now I need to set this. What's it on? It's on the tiny one. It's on C3, I think I need A1, but I will check. Okay, so this is set on A1. Now, believe it or not, that is the very first time I've ever put an eyelet through the spine of a book. I, you know, I don't know why. But um, I just decided that that was something I wanted to do. Um, and so maybe for a dangle, I do have these. But what I'm going to do is go through my stash and look and see what else I have to see if there's something else that really sparks my imagination. All right. So I pulled out some gold color material here that I might be able to use in... Putting this together, I have some lobster claws, some chain. I have a bracelet that was given to me um, that I can take apart. It's not something I would wear. I don't usually could tell. I always wear um, white gold or silver because of my. I'm already yellow. I don't need yellow gold on top of that. Um, so I'm looking at. I want to take some of this apart by undoing the jump rings and I'll save the jump rings because I can use those again and I might be able to use this chain I'm wondering if I could do this and hang a jingle bell off the bottom and then I got this too, this little pearl. I have a snowflake, but I don't think it's, oh, it would be okay with this because uh, I have this little pearl thing here. Thinking, thinking. It's kind of a bigger chain than what I had intended, but since this is so big, it might be okay. Uh, let me see what this looks like. And I guess the next question is, should I use the red one or the gold one? And I think it's too much to use, uh, to use them both because they're so large. But what I think I need to do is shorten this chain overall, move this heart down a little bit because it's, like I said, it's just too long. So I'm just twisting the jump rings to get them apart. It's a bigger chain than I would have thought of using, but it works. So I think it offsets the size of this, um, the size of that jingle bell there, that it's so big, this chain. One thing I could use the small chain for is to make dangles to attach these two here in, in their own separate dangles. And I think that would be kind of cute. Um, but I'm, I'm looking through my jump rings now, my gold colored ones. So I'm going to twist this like that, cut off part of this chain. and put one end through the chain and one end through the heart. Hmm, that one's got a funny thing on it. 
啊。Twist it back together. Now we have that. And I think I could, uh, yep, I think this needs to be a little shorter. Now this one, it's too, oh, uh, I just broke it. I need. What I had done was go through all of my um, charm pieces, and I don't have that many gold things, so let me think about this snowflake. I think it might be okay. Um, let's try them and see if they will. Ooh, ooh, and I want to use part of this. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I do that a lot. Okay, trying to find the... Now let's see if I can actually zoom in a little bit here. And stay on camera at the same time. Okay, let's twist that open. Now do I want any chain on this? Maybe, maybe not. I think it needs a tiny bit of chain. Right about there. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just playing around. Okay, now where do I want this one? Let's see. I'm going to lay it out. Come on. I'm trying to lay it horizontally so you can see it. Right about there. Okay. Now, I also want to get in this little pearly thing here. And this as well. So I want some chain for that. I think I can hang both of these on the same Let's see. No. I want chain first. Oh, I'm getting confused. Okay. I want that and I want chain. I really got opened up too much. Okay, now I'm thinking about putting these both on the same um, hook. The question is how much I need. Let's see, laying this out, thinking if this would land about here and this would be long, Now I need to shorten this one dangle here with the, oh, that fell right off of there. Where is the, oh, it's because the chain broke. Well, let's do that again. Sometimes when I cut the, um, cut the chain, I actually damage more than one link, and that's what happened this time. The link was damaged. Okay, let's try this again. Now, find the other end of this. There we go. So I need to shorten this. It doesn't need to be that long. I don't want it hitting the jingle bell. So I'm thinking there. Although I have this little piece now that I could put back in here if I wanted, like further up. Let's see. 
see. I'm going to need this. This is going to be really long. I didn't intend for it to be this long, but that's okay. I think I kind of need it to be because of the um, because of the size of that jingle bell. I did not treat this jump ring very well, and it's not forgiving me. <laughs> there. Okay, now we have, where's the end of this? Right here. I don't need all of this from the top, and if I shorten it right there, that will help. And so what I want to do is get a lobster claw on that. So I'm going to have to cut off this. I hope this cuts off well. I didn't even think about that. I should have tried to cut this earlier, but it is just pretty... Um, weak costume jewelry. There, it just snapped up. There. I'll probably save that for something. Wait, let me make sure this works. Sometimes I've done projects, gotten them all together to find out that the lobster claw didn't work. That on there, and the end of my chain. Is this the end? Yep, that's the last one. Okay. So where's the lobster claw in all of this? There we go. Okay, I have the two strands of those little fake diamonds, the snowflake, the pearl, the heart, and the jingle bell. Alrighty, so let's look at this. And what I had done was I had put a uh, garment pin right here. Because I, oops, right here. Because I had chosen to put my hole low, um, it makes this area of the binder really thick or wide, which makes it hard to put like a jump ring in there unless I get a really big jump ring, which I could do. But I wanted to use what I had in my stash, so this garment pin will have to work for now. And put that on there. Now let me zoom back out. Okay, let's see if I can get this on picture. So I might go back and maybe raise raise the jingle bell up a little bit because it really is long. But if I put the jingle bell up a few a few links up, I think I would be happier with it because right now it's you can see how low it is on the item on the journal here. And that's what it looks like from right there. Alrighty, so I will do another video showing a complete flip through from beginning to end of this whole this whole book. Make sure you look down at the links below for the entire playlist to this series. And thank you so much for following along this whole time. I have loved every minute of this series. It has been such a delight and I'm glad that I did it. And uh, I look forward to December and to where I can actually use this.